Okay, in this video, we want to factor this expression right here. And in the description box of this video, there are two playlists. One playlist has different strategies to factor. Maybe you're new to factoring. And the other playlist has random factoring problems. But in this video, I'm going to solve this mentally using trial and error method. So let's begin. So this problem isn't so bad because this piece right here is an x squared. So we know our binomial will contain an x for both uh, binomials because x times x is x squared. There's no other way. Next, we think to ourselves what two numbers multiply to give us negative 45 but add to give us negative 12. Now this is where it's a little bit of trial and error. You think, how can you get 45? You can get 45 by 9 times 5. But the thing is, you know, not negative 9, negative 5, it's going to be, you know, negative 14. It's not going to work. So we try something else. Let's try, you know, maybe 15 and 3. So we'll put a 15 and we'll put a 3. Now, it needs to multiply to give us negative 45, but add to give negative 12. So this piece would have to be negative and this piece would have to be positive. Let's try it. Positive 3 and negative 15 is negative 12. That's good. 3 times negative 15 is negative 45, so it's correct. But if you want to further you know, check, you can use the distributive method, and let's distribute and expand to get this. So x times x, we know it's going to be x squared. x times negative 15 is negative 15x. 3 times x is going to be positive 3x. And 3 times negative 15 is negative 45. From here, we can check negative 15 plus 3 is, in fact, negative 12. You have a negative 45. You have a negative 45. You have an x squared. You have an x squared. So it's a match. And that's pretty much it for this video.